Hello everybody, how's it going? Uh, I just thought I'd drop another video here and uh, kind of talk about something else today. You know, I'm always thinking of new things wanting to talk about. Um, so yeah, before I get started, let me go and drop this out for you. Uh, Lord Hair, because <clears throat> as you guys know, if you watch my other videos, I get my hair system from Lord Hair. This is actually a Lord Hair system. Um, been going on the same unit. I got it, it, it I installed it myself exactly on December 17th of 2019. So that's going on, on three months now that I've had the same exact unit installed. But you probably know that if you watch my other videos. <clears throat> anyway, Lord Hair reached out to me and said, hey, you know, we like your videos. Next time you make a video, uh, throw your viewers a discount code that they can use. They'll get $20 off their unit. Oh my gosh, here I go, guys. I never thought this day would happen. I'm sounding like one of those YouTubers, fancy YouTubers now throwing out discount codes and I'm putting in the description down below. <clears throat> and let me tell you guys, I'm not really, you know, money driven or anything like that. I'm just making these videos to help you guys out. But, you know, I figured they contact me and said, hey, give your guys, a, uh, give your viewers this discount code. And if they get, when, and when they buy a hair unit from us, we'll give them $20 off their hair unit. And the discount code is Panther Train, all capital letters, in case you guys are wondering, want to save an extra 20 bucks. Again, it's all capital letters, just like my username, my YouTube username, it's Panther Train minus the number. So it's all caps, Panther like the animal train, like the choo choo train. Uh, Panther Train, all caps, will get you $20 off your unit from Lord Hair. God, it feels weird pitching like that. Because I always see all these YouTube videos of all these famous YouTubers always saying, link in the description below, where they're saying things like, get you a discount off this and that, or this is brought to you by such and such, and it feels weird. Like, I just feel... Anyway, it's not a bad feeling, but yeah, because I'm, I'm just not that guy that's going, that's all about being sponsored and wanting to get paid and doing this for just money. I'm just, it's just, but it's fine. You know, it'll save you guys an extra 20 bucks. So if you guys want to buy a Lord Hair unit, just when you go check out, just where it says apply promo code, just type in Panther Train, all capital letters, no numbers, and I'll get you $20 off your unit if you go for Lord Hair. So yeah, why not? I thought I'd throw those uh, uh, discount codes your guys' way. So if you put guys, put an extra $20 in your guys' pocket. So now that that's out of the way. So yeah, what do I want to talk about today? How to approach getting a haircut when you get your unit. First of all, you know how I always do. Uh, I like to show you guys from the side, all angles from the hair system here, even a close up of the hairline. Um, which I really love. This is, by the way, in case you're wondering, this unit is from Lord Hair. It's the S22 0.03 millimeter super duper thin skin model. In fact, if you go and browse like their stock units, I think it's literally the first one that's listed. It's like $169 list price. Uh, when you factor in shipping uh, them to cut and style the hair and even cutting it down to your dimensions or bait or your uh, template, it's like uh, all in 199 bucks all in. But again, you'd get that $20 off with a coupon. So it'd be like $179 all in. But yeah, um, this is a Lord Hair unit. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is an S22 model they have, the super thin skin, where if you wear exposed hairline, this is the uh, unit to get because it's, you know, the hairline looks invisible. But yeah, there it is from all angles, the sides, again, the hairline right there. I'll give you guys a close-up of that. Um, but yeah, this is their S22 model unit. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of style I've been rocking for the last couple weeks. Just kind of this short, choppy style. I finally find a style that I think suits me, my face shape, my age the best. And I think this is it. But anyway, what I want to talk about. So you get your new unit in the mail. You install it. You got it on there. You're thrilled. You're happy. But you're like, oh, I got to get a haircut. What next? Now, if you go... Um, Lord Hair, they do offer, when if you do buy from them, um, an option where you can actually uh, select a hairstyle. Like, they'll have an option, like, please, like, there'll have to be a couple of drop-down menus. One, you select your color. Two, you're going to select, you want them to cut it down to your template and dimensions. Mine, I just measured. I didn't even do a template. I just did eight by six. That's my dimensions. Eight front to back, six side to side. Um, inches and then and then also there'll be another one select a haircut hair, hairstyle when you select that there'll be a whole like 12 or 10 different pictures of haircuts and hairstyles that you can that you can select they're just stock photos of like various celebrities and whatnot uh, that you can select a what hairstyle you want now here's one thing i will say um that i'm still going to be you know i'm still going to tell it like it is and be a straight shooter with you if i find any faults or i wouldn't even call it a fault but if i find any concerns or anything that i would bring to your attention about lord hair i'm going to do that i'm not a paid corporate shell for them by any stretch i don't work for them i'm not employed by them um the whole discount code thing thought they they kind of gave me a heads up like hey give your viewers this code save them 20 bucks i'm like sure i'll do that um so one thing i will say is um, this, this, when I first got the unit, um, this unit, before I actually went and got it cut myself, it was the, um, LD, I, it's the, like the, one of the very last stock photos. I forgot the code name for the haircut, but it's kind of the young guy. He kind of has it kind of spiked up in the front, the dark hair, that stock photo with the kind of bottom is one of the last photos. 
Um, I will say when I got the unit, even after selecting that haircut, it still came a little dense and long. It didn't really match that hairstyle that I selected in the photo, which is fine because I mean, those stock photos, those guys aren't wearing Lord Hair System. They have different hair densities, hair types, but it was close. It was kind of in the same ballpark, but I still felt if you go back and watch a few videos back when I was rocking that big, crazy pompadour up look in the front and every all you guys said, hey, you got to change that dog, bro, because it's just it's looking bad. It's looking too dense. It's looking too thick. And I went and got it cut down since then. That was uh, the hairstyle that I selected. It was still really dense and thick, you know, from that other video, as you saw, if you watched it, it was like a three or four videos back, you can't miss it. I mean, the hair is like crazy, like styled in the front. And I don't know, I thought it looked good for the day, but I, it didn't. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, so what I'm getting at is this, even though you select a hairstyle and haircut of theirs, unless you want it to be that longer dense, chances are you're probably still going to need to go to a hairstylist and get your hair cut. And really, once it's installed on your head, that's the best way to do it because they can cut it down and blend it into your sides and your face and they'll make it look really good. So here's what I'll do, because if you get these, any hair system you get, no matter which company, they're, if you don't get them cut, before you get them cut in and styled, they're really dense, really long. Uh, so what I'm getting at is when you go, when you get your hair system in, you got it installed and you're like, oh, wow, I need a haircut now. Let's go get a haircut. You're going to find it, it gets a little awkward and let me dive into that a little bit. Um, so you're, you're going to have to let you, you're going to have to let the hairstylist know that you're, you have a hair system on it and that conversation can be awkward. So I'll let you know what I did and the mistakes I kind of made so you don't make the same ones. So mistake number one I did, I called around different places, different hairstylists, salons, and uh, Google just hairstyles, hair salons in my area and just started calling them. And I would ask them on their phone, hey, do you guys cut in hair systems? Do you guys cut in hair pieces? I mean, they were nice. I mean, they weren't like rude or laughing or anything, but I mean, they were more like, um, hmm, let me put you on hold and check on that. And just imagine this for a minute. I mean, you're not there, you're on hold, and then you have some a receptionist going up to a hairstylist or one of their hair salons and asking, hey, do you cut in hair systems? Do you cut in hair pieces? And even though the people can't see you there, they can't hear you, they don't know who you are, it's still kind of awkward thinking and that's what they're doing. So I would, I, I would recommend not calling around asking, do you cut in hair systems and hair pieces? Because I have one. Um, the best approach that I've taken, oh, let me, uh, let me get to that in a minute. So, so getting back to number one, my ADHD is kicking in. Um, don't, um, don't call around. Don't call around saying, hey, I got a hair piece, hair system. Can you guys do it? Can you get a, can you guys cut in a hair system, hair piece? Because a lot of people, there's still that stigma out there that hair pieces are, they're just weird and they're not mainstream. So if you just ask someone, hey, would you, can you cut a hair piece for me? Is that okay? They're going to start, in their head, they're going through, oh gosh, hair pieces, these big, crazy wig looking things that I got to deal with. I don't know how to do that. Um, so I would say, and they start getting these ideas in their head that's probably not, tr that's not true about a hair system in reality. So I would avoid calling around and asking over the phone, do you do, do you cut in hair systems? Don't do that. Um, so mistake number two, and this is a big one that's also going to save you some money. You don't need a high-end $50, $60, $70 haircut hairstylist at a fancy boutique or style uh, salon. Now, a lot of videos out there from other users that wear hair systems might say otherwise. They say they go to the, you know, they pay 60 bucks and get a, the best haircut you can get. But I'm telling you, you don't need that. Let me tell you right now, this hairstyle right here, $9 at Great Clips. Um, my other hair units that I wore um, before I got the Lord hair, you probably have to go back to my videos before December because I put this hair unit on December 17th of last year. So all the units you would see from like November and on, uh, November and October, um, I would, that, those were great, the shorter hair units from November, out from between October and November, the videos that I posted, that's a great clips haircut as well. So and that was the other unit that I was wearing. Um, it wasn't this one. It was from the, when I used to go to a salon and get it done, it was one of her units. So two times I went to great clips with two different units. They did phenomenal jobs because you, I mean, great clips, they kind of have, um, a bad reputation. They don't care. They rush. They give bad haircuts. But I, the, I don't know what it is. But the one, and I've had two different stylists too. So I have two separate stylists at two different Great Clips locations, and they both did a phenomenal job. Um, I actually was. I live in Greenville, South Carolina, so I was downtown Greenville, which is kind of the city, you know, where things are a bit more expensive. So I was downtown Greenville one day, and when I first got a went to a, a actual stylist to get my haircut, it was more of a high end, fancy boutique stylist place. And I paid 65 bucks for my first haircut. 
I, and she didn't do it. When I told her that, oh, it's a hair system, she didn't act weird, but you could tell she was really hesitant and scared as she was cutting and I didn't get the haircut that I like. Sent me back $65. And I was like, never again. I'm trying out a great clip. It's do or die. I'm taking a risk. I know that this is probably not ideal, but I'm going to try it anyway. Man, they do phenomenal jobs. And they, and the, especially the second lady I went to that cut, that gave me this style, it was kind of, I kind of lucked out because she was like, oh my gosh, I can't tell. And she was like, I even used to work for a place that did hair replacement and hair systems. So I know all about these. I'm going to give you, I'm going to do you right. And she said, here's, and she even went above and beyond. She's like, here's my card and my number. Um, and I, I, I've been doing hair systems and I, before I came to Great Clips, I cut, used to cut these in for a lady and I, for a lady that I work for. And I, you can even call me my personal number. You can, I even, I'll even come to you cause I even come to people's homes and cut hair and I'll be glad to cut them for you. I'm not saying you'll get as lucky, but, um, don't, the, the, so here's what I'm getting at. I'm kind of veering off path here. Don't fear Great Clips cheap haircuts. Um, both times I went to Great Clips, both had phenomenal experiences. Uh, they both did a bang up job and it's this, they, it was like a nine, I tip well though, it was $9 and I tip them a hundred percent. I'll tip them $9. So I paid like $18 all in. I um, mean, you may not want to tip that much. I do. It's Cause if you have, if you do, and you go back to the same person, oh, they'll remember you when you get a new, every time you get a new unit, you need to cut in. You're going to do a bang up job. And you really want a bang up job and you have a hair system. But I uh, lucked out and she was the lady at Great Cubs was like, here's my card and my number always asks for me. So now I kind of got a go-to contact. Um, so how do I approach it then? If I don't call around, then how do I let these people know that I have a hair system? Simple. I go to Great Clips. They sit me down in the chair. They'll do the usual, hey, what, what kind of, what, what are we doing today for your hair? Um, usually I'll say, so I'll show them a picture. I'll find a picture, like last picture to get this style. I'll Google like Bradley Cooper, the actor. I was like, cause I was saying, I was like, I want more of a short choppy style. I want shorter hair. I want something that's kind of choppy that I can kind of wear messy like this. I'm ditching the slick back pompadour. It's not me. I'm ditching the long hair. I want something that's kind of short and messy and kind of choppy look. So I Google, I was like, hmm, Bradley Cooper. And of course he's rocked some longer slick back styles as well. But uh, you know, you know the hangover actor, don't really need, doesn't need an introduction. Everyone knows who Bradley Cooper is. But yeah, Bradley, so I Googled Bradley Cooper short hairstyles and I found one that was kind of when he, he would wear it messy and up in the front a little bit. Uh, so I found one. I was like, that's the hairstyle I want. So I saved it on my phone. And when she set me down in the chair, I just showed her a picture. I was like, okay, so this is what I'm going for. I know everyone's hair is different. It's not going to be exactly like this, but I want it kind of short and messy, kind of choppy look like he's got going on here. And she was like, okay, yeah, we can do that. And then, and then, as, and then when she started getting the scissors ready, I literally did, I pulled a by the way on her. That's exactly how I approached. I was like, uh, by the way, just want to let you know, this is a hair piece. So she was like, oh, okay. All right. She's like, wow. And then after a few seconds, she was feeling the hair and she's like, oh, man, this is a good one because I couldn't even tell until you told me you had a hair system. That's when you know you had a good hair system. Um, so I, that's how I approach it, guys, because here's one thing. You're going to find that's going to be a little awkward because let's be honest, um, when you get a hair system, there. I mean, for you straight guys out there, I'm just going to be straight up. Um, who works at these hair salons typically? Attractive females, let's be honest here. There's a lot of like 20, 30, even early, you know, 20, 30, 40 something females that work at these salons that are attractive. Most hairstylists are very pretty, very attractive, and it can be kind of intimidating, you know, telling some of these attractive women, yeah, this is a hair system and hair piece. I mean, honestly, I, I'm not a fan of it. It's awkward, but you got to get the haircut. I mean, you got to get your haircut. It's got to get done. It's a necessary evil. So my thinking is like, look, I'm not going to marry these women. I'm probably never going to see them again. It let them think what they think of me, and I'm taking one. For, I'm taking this on the chin a little bit, but it's fine. None of them have been judgmental, and they're the both times I told them, they were. I mean, they were like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll just give you a haircut. Then it's not a big deal because it can. And I'm making this video. You may think that, oh, why are you making a video about the subject? It's not a big deal. But it can be when you actually get the hair unit installed and you got it on your head and you realize you need a haircut and then you start thinking like, oh, I got to tell these people I got a hair system. How do I go about that? The anxiety starts settling in a little bit. But that's what I do. I pull, the way I do it personally is I pull a by the way. As soon as they sit me in the chair, I don't call ahead. I don't even let them know, you know, when I sign in at the front desk. Literally when they sit me in the chair, put the little cover around my neck. They ask me what hairstyle I want. I tell them or show them the hairstyle I want on my phone. And then I pull the by the way on them. Uh, by the way, it's a hair system. Just thought I'd let you know in case you felt something off a little bit. That's all it is. Like it's no big deal. And I promise they will be like, okay. Cause think about it guys. What do hair cosmetologists and hairstylists train on? 
wigs and mannequins. That's how they first train. So they're going to feel right at home giving you a haircut because that's how they learn to cut hair when they first start out in this business is they train on mannequins at first before they went to a real person. They train on wigs, cutting up and cutting in wigs. So that, don't feel bad. They're going to feel right at home like, this is nothing. I did this when I was training in my early days. And they do a good job. So the takeaway from this video, three takeaways. Type in Panther Train, all caps letters, when you go check out at Lord Hair. Whatever unit you want, it can be a custom unit, stock unit. You get $20 off. It doesn't matter. That's going to save to 20 bucks in your pocket. Um, don't spend $60, $65, $70 on a high-end haircut on these because it is not necessary. You can go to Great Clips or if you live somewhere where you don't have a Great Clips, whatever kind of bargain haircutting place that lives in your, that's in, resides in your area, they're like, you know, you pay $9 or $10. Do that and just and don't call around. Don't act all weird about it. And when you do tell them, just do it as a by the way. You don't want to be like, oh, and by the way, you don't want to act skittish about it because, I mean, that's, that's what's going to get over the stigma of having hair systems is people are just acting cool, calm, and collected, you know, not walking out like they're, they have to hide. Don't hide it. Don't act weird or conspicuous about it. Just do, 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 pull the by the way on them. Just say, oh, by the way, before you start, uh, it's a hair piece. Thought I'd let you know. It's not a big deal, but in case you felt something weird, was wondering what it was, that's all it is. And I promise you, they're not going to judge you. They trained on wigs before they started cutting hair. They're going to feel right at home. So that's how you approach getting a hair cut what i would suggest to do though is because if you if you're worried about well when you get a hair set when you first put a hair system on when it's not cut in it looks ridiculous and it looks like a wig and i don't want to look crazy going out in public to, between my house and going to get a haircut so here's what i suggest to do um if you bet that's one thing i love about and i promise you i don't want this to come across as like a lord hair sponsoring video where i'm just talking them up and i'm trying to get turned business for them this is literally my own thoughts 100 percent. but if you do lord hair they offer something that no other hair system uh, company offers that i've come across they actually i mean unless you select like a custom unit on other websites and you have to like send their pictures in but they offer to select a picture of any haircut you want and they'll cut it for you for like $20 extra, cut it and style it for you. So what I would suggest to do is just pick a hair, let them pick a haircut on their website, let them cut and style it. Chances are it's still gonna be a little dense and thick and long when you actually get and on your head, but at least it's gonna look normal. It's not gonna have that big wiggy look when you get an uncut system installed. And at least it'll look normal enough for you to then go to Great Clips or to a haircutting place and get your own haircut excuse me, to get your own haircut so you won't look kind of ridiculous walking in the great clips and there's people in the waiting room and you got this big uncut hair piece on your head. So at least select a hairstyle, let Lord Hair cut it uh, from any hairstyle that you choose. And either A, you'll just like the hairstyle the way they do it. Personally, my opinion is I think they, they're... The hairstyles that they show in the picture you select really don't match the hair system that you're going to get. Um, I think that's just a reality. Um, you may like the hair system. I personally, when I first got it, even after I selected the hairstyle that I wanted, it wasn't exactly to how I wanted it. But it, but the good thing is it was cut as short. It was cut in enough where I didn't look ridiculous going to the hair salon to get it cut in. So at least select, select a hairstyle, let them cut it and style it. And then if you don't like it, at least you can still go get it cut by a great clips and have them really tailored to your head and your size and everything else. So that's how you approach getting a haircut. Uh, takeaways, you know, the, again, the Lord Hair discount. Uh, don't spend sixty to five to seventy dollars on a haircut is totally unnecessary. Don't fear the bargain uh, haircutting salons like your Great Clips, Supercuts of the world. And just be cool and nonchalant about it. Have them seat you down in the chair. That's when you tell the hair salon, literally right before they start cutting. When they seat you down in the chair, they put the black cover on around your neck. That's when you just pull the by the way on them. By the way, it's a hair system. Don't freak out. Uh, just uh, in case you felt something weird, it's no big deal. That's all it is. So that's how you approach getting a haircut. I mean, again, this may not seem like a big deal, but it was for me at first. When I was like, oh God, I don't. When I first went to a professional salon to get my haircut, it was anxiety for me. I was like, how do I even tell these people that I have a hair system? I got to sit down in the chair. There's other people beside me getting their haircut. They're going to hear me. That's just the reality of it. Just saying, you're never going to see these people again, especially the people in the hair salon sitting around you. It doesn't matter. Don't fear it. Just go for it. And once you do it once, it'll be fine. But that is all I got for you. Again, I'll leave the discount code in the description below if you're $20 off your Lord Hair unit. So that's all I got for you today.